All right, friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a quote from the renowned Buddhist teacher Thich Nhat Hanh, and it's a real gem. If we are peaceful, if we are happy, we can smile and blossom like a flower, and everyone in our family, our entire society, will benefit from our peace. Thich Nhat Hanh Title, Cultivate Inner Peace for Collective Harmony This quote beautifully illustrates how our personal inner state directly influences the world around us. Modern Translation When we find peace and happiness within ourselves, it radiates outward, positively impacting those around us, creating a more harmonious society. Question for you. How do you personally cultivate inner peace and happiness? And how do you see those qualities affecting your relationships and community? Let's break it down. This quote is a potent reminder of the ripple effect our actions have on the world. Just like a single stone dropped in a pond creates ever-expanding circles, our inner peace has the power to spread outwards, touching everyone we encounter. Remember what Marcus Aurelius said, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Our thoughts are the foundation of our emotions, and these emotions, in turn, shape our actions. If we are constantly battling with negative thoughts, stress, and anxiety, we're likely to act out in ways that contribute to discord and unhappiness. Think of it like a chain reaction where negativity begets more negativity. However, if we dedicate ourselves to cultivating inner peace, cultivating positive thoughts, then we'll be more likely to act with kindness, compassion and understanding, creating a more harmonious environment for ourselves and those around us. Thich Nhat Hanh also emphasizes the interconnectedness of all things. Just as a single flower can bring joy to an entire garden, our individual peace and happiness can contribute to a greater sense of well-being in the world. The more people cultivate inner peace, the more peaceful our societies become. We see this reflected in the teachings of Taoism, where the emphasis is on finding harmony with the natural world and within oneself. The Tao Te Ching beautifully describes the importance of cultivating inner peace for a peaceful world. The best way to manage people is to let them be. The next best way is to love them. The worst way is to fear them. The most terrible way is to despise them. By allowing ourselves and others to be, we cultivate a sense of harmony that benefits all. Friend, this message is not just about creating a better world for others. It's about creating a better world for yourself. When you choose peace, you choose happiness. It starts within, and when you cultivate it, it blossoms outward, touching everyone around you. It's a beautiful cycle of growth and interconnectedness. If you got any value out of this message, please give us a like, share, and subscribe for more daily wisdom.